Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, my friends and I will talk about convergent and divergent While me, myself, we talk about concept of convergent and divergent thinking Convergent thinking is the process of figuring out a concrete solution to any problem While divergent thinking is the process of thinking that explores multiple possible solutions to generate idea in order to generate idea as example of convergent thinking in exam or in test how hard the question is this must be only uh, one answer for that question there's no way to have two answer in one question especially objective question um, example for divergent thinking um, Divergent thinking we can apply to uh, ourselves when people ask our opinion uh, When people ask our opinion uh, There's have a lot of answer Because everyone have many way to many other way of thinking so many answer okay the characteristic of um of convergent thinking convergent thinking teach us to be a straight person straight to the point because um convergent thinking the characteristic of convergent thinking is speed accuracy and logic while divergent thinking teach us to be uh, a creative person because um, we will answer it spontaneously free flowing and non-linear I hope my explanation is clear uh, that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Amirul Skandar bin Burhanuddin Now I'm going to explain you about the 8 types of solving problems, techniques and tools Number 1 is Ask a compelling question For example We must imagine the question such as What if? Why not? What assumption that we make? How about it? Towards the idea The second is Explore context. We must explore the context to take an expansive viewpoint before narrowing in on the specific problems. Number three is find the center. Different parts of us hijack our minds and give us conflicting wants, beliefs, and perspectives. 
Number four is seek wisdom. Asking we experience advice from outside your industry for their thoughts on your problems can yield insightful perspective. Trying to solve the problem, creativity problem solving is actually an effortless process. But the key is learning how to get out of your own way. Number six, switch roles. The idea is to shift the perspectives so we can approach the problem from a new angle. Number seven is use the six thing hacks. Facts, feelings, controls, creativity, positive and negative. It will help us to being a better leader. And for the last point is general generating more ideas. The best solution is to brainstorm as many ideas as we can in a judgmental environment before evaluating them. Thank you. That's all from me. Organization is the process of changing from working largely or exclusive by hand or with animals to doing that work with machine. The process of having a machine to accomplish tasks performed wholly or partly by human. It depends the self regulation property by performing manual operating. For example, is material handling. There are two ways mechanization. First is manual. Manual is by using hand tools, power level tools, hand control. Uh, mechanical is power tool, system remote control, power tool, program control cycle. For automating mechanical system, the technology by a process or procedure is performed with minimal human assistance and various control system for operating training. It is an electronic brain with the capability of taking routine and logical decision connected with planning. It is considered a step beyond mechanization. Electronic devices are used to record, store, process, and interpret information at various stages of production. Next is the fundamental constituent of any automating process are there are three automating process is a power source a feedback control mechanization a program command there are three tools of automating first technological advance in both hardware and software industry second hardware technology third software based technology aid in the design of mechanical system next is benefit of automating first is there are cost reduction increased product variety safe working environment and improved quality of work Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good morning So I will present about a case study Do you know about what is a case study? Okay, let me tell you A case study is a detailed study of specific subjects Such as person, group, place, event, organization, or phenomenon Case studies are commonly used in social, educational, clinical, and business research. Uh, I hope you understand the meaning of the case study. A case study research 
design usually involve qualitative methods but quantitative methods are sometimes also used. Case studies are good for describing, comparing, evaluating, evaluating and understanding different uh, aspects of the research problem. When to do a case study? A case study is an appropriate research design when you want to gain concrete, contextual and get knowledge about a specific area of subject. It allows you to explore the key, characteristic, meaning, and application of the case. Case studies are often a good choice in cases or research stations. They keep your project focus and management when you don't have time to do or research to do a large scale research. I will explain you about how to do a case study. I will share about three methods to do a case study. First one, select a case. Once you have developed your problem statement and research question, you should be ready to choose the specific case that you want to focus on. A good case study should have the potential to provide new or unexpected insight into the subject, challenge or complicated existing assumptions and theories, Propose practical courses of action to use a problem and open up to the direction of future research. The second one, build a theoretical framework. While case study focuses more on concrete details than general theory, they should usually have some connection with theory in the field. This way, the case study is not just an isolated description but is integrated into existing knowledge about the topic. It might aim to exemplify a theory by showing how it explains the case under investigation. Explain on the theory by, unco by uncovering new concepts and ideas that need to incorporate it. Challenge a theory by exploring an outlier case that doesn't fit with established assumptions. The third one, collect your data. There are many different research methods you can use to collect data on your subject. Case study tend to focus on qualitative data using methods, methods such as interviews, observation, and analysis of primary and secondary sources. Do you know about the primary and secondary sources? Uh, it's like the paper articles, photograph, or official record. Sometimes a case study will also collect quantitative data. For a case study, a wine farm development in a rural area, you could collect quantitative data on employment rates and business revenue. Collect qualitative data on local people, people's perception and experience, and analyze local and mass. National media coverage of the F development. Uh, there are many methods to how to do a case study, but I only say about three methods. So I hope you guys will use it. But to do on your case study. So thanks for me. That's all. Thank you.